The Milwaukee M18 Forge is the longest lasting, most powerful and fastest charging battery that Milwaukee has in their lineup per Milwaukee tool. So we're gonna test out the power by looking at the voltage drop and comparing it to the five amp hour, six amp hour, eight amp hour and 12 amp hour battery and let you know what you're gonna see when you're using the tools in comparison to those other batteries to see if this is where you wanna put your money. We're gonna be doing this with the Sawzall. We're gonna be putting a lot of pressure on this to get the tool to bog down quite a bit. We're gonna see what battery can hold the highest voltage. Let's get after it. So we have the new five amp hour XC battery on here. We are at 20.59 volts at a full charge. I've been messing with this battery just slightly, so it is normally maybe a tenth or two higher. I just wanted to make sure I had all the equipment set up. You can see when we hit the trigger, it goes down a little bit. 20.58, let's watch it as we make this cut. Sixteen point nine one is what I seen when I gave it a little bit of a push towards the end. Basically, it stayed in that mid seventeen area. Here's one of my favorites: the high output XC six point zero amp hour. We are at twenty point eight four fully charged. Let's make our cut. See what happens. 16 at the end but I was cutting through it was more of an average of 18s let's make one more cut 20.5 right now <laughs> trying to stall it out I seen 15 which is pretty low but I mean I'm pushing so let's uh, just do an average cut here We're looking in the 18s on this guy. Here we are with the M18 Ford XC 6 amp hour, 20.8 volts. Let's just make a normal cut and push it on the end like we did the 5 amp hour battery. So that was a big push at the end. We didn't see anything below 18. So this is well outperforming the normal six amp hour XC. Let's just give this one a lot. See what our lowest we can get to is. Eighteens. That is not something you want to live through pushing that hard. Uh, very interesting. Coming back up, we can see we're going to hit 20.4. This is recovering quite nicely. Let's go again and just give it a normal, pretty hard push. See if we even get into the 18s. There we started to see 18.5, giving it a push. Let's go for a normal cut. Still high 18s. This thing's rocking it out. Let's move up. High output XC 8 amp hour battery. Size difference between this and the Forge, significant. We are at 20.52 fully charged. Let's make a similar hit on this. It's going to be pushed at the bottom, normal cut more at the top. If that doesn't tell you something right there, we've seen in the 16s. Let's hit it one more time, make another cut. Notice we haven't recovered quietly, quite as quickly as the Forge did. We we're at 20.4, I believe, on our third cut coming back. So giving it again, 15s. I'm actually surprised that this dude is giving us that low of a voltage. Let's do a normal cut. So normal not being pushed, it's very similar to where the forge is at, maybe just a little bit less. It's when you really need that high demand is where that forge is kicking in and giving us a lot. Let's just go again and push at the end. Sixteens, that's crazy. All right, 12 amp hour, 20.16, 
fully charged. This sat on the charger. Now the reason why I'm going to say this is just a touch low is because it might have been used before and been at like 98% and then you put it on the charger and it doesn't really charge it up. So we might be low there. I know this is a good battery. Let's just get into it and see what happens. This is going to be a normal cut and then we'll push hard at the bottom. We actually seen 13s down there from this heavy duty. And now that's probably because while it's a heavy duty battery, it's not a high output battery. Let's go again, but see, we have not recovered. This is the lowest as far as how it's recovering. Let's go one more. Small blip in everything that's happening down here. Lots of connections getting wiggled around. Let's go, one more. High 18s to 17 and a half normal. Let's give it a big push on this one again. See if we can see the 13s. So we cut it out there and I didn't see 13s. Now I have to question if my electronics on the first one weren't a little loose giving me the 13s. So let's go for another hard hit. Sixteens. That makes a lot more sense uh, when we're going through this. An average cut still going to be low. We're down quite a bit, but it's recovering. This is a 3P pack, so let's just give it another cut hard at the end. Sixteen point two was the lowest I seen. That says a lot for this forge. Well, we got this hooked up. Let's go back to the forge a little bit and just do some playing to see what this is going to do over multiple cuts, multiple heavy hits. So we might as well give it everything. It's at basically two or twenty point five. Let's go for a real hard cut again. <laughs> So we got a cutout, interesting enough, 18.5 is what I was seeing. 18.4. This is shaking me around enough that it's hard to see that. Uh, so very interesting. Let's go for another pretty heavy cut. Eighteen point three five. I seen very quickly there. That was interesting. 18 basically 0.45 on a normal cut. Let's just keep going a couple cuts. 't to hit this one pretty hard this is uh, the actual tool here is warm the battery pack very cool 18.9 and climbing 18. we turned off I seen 18.4. All right 18.5. Seventeen something for a second there. One more hard one. We just dipped into the seventeens. Let's go take a uh, temperature reading on this guy. Nineteen point eight in climbing. When we look, the tool is quite warm. Quite warm. Battery, man, these lights. Battery, not so much. We can see a little bit in the bottom. One. I 
That's 80. Our hot spot is over here in the 139s. 80 degrees. Handle from me hanging onto it. It's hotter than the battery. That's pretty significant. When we can get this tool up, there's 108 where the green is. Red showing me a max of 143. This tool's hot because we're pushing it. Battery, super cool. I love that. That's going to be awesome for some of these heavy duty tools. My opinion, watching the voltage drop is an interesting portion of the tools because obviously the higher voltage we see it on the drills the higher the rpm the more power that's in the tool there are other factors but the voltage is one that we can easily pick up out of these and we can see how quickly it recovers now the forge did absolutely awesome in this and it kept a very cool temperature which i think is to me what most people are looking for we can either overheat batteries if we're putting out too much but in this case not so tool super hot very very hot i mean even over the rubber over mold picking this thing up you know this tool has been used and pushed and we haven't pushed it that hard so it's neat to see that this battery is going to be probably the hero that's going to come out of this now it's going to be interesting to see long term how this does in multiple other tools this is just the start of our testing but i'll tell you if it's going to continue like this i'm sold now the difference i guess that we have if you're using this or going to spend the money look at the voltage when we look at the xc we got down into the 14s pushing it hard the forge was in the 18s pushing it hard so on a high demand tool the difference between seeing voltage at 14 and voltage at 18 is going to be huge as far as performance. The XC8 16s is where we were at. So if you didn't want to spend the money on the forge, there's a huge difference between the six and the eight that held up quite a bit better. Not, you know, two volts, maybe one and a half volt. Is it huge? No. The 12 amp hour that we had, um, there was a connection issue in the beginning, obviously, that brought that thing down into the 13s. When we pushed it hard again, it was like 16.2. So that was good also, but the size difference between these batteries is immense. So when you really start looking at what we have, this 6 amp hour is not far off from the 5 amp hour size. And if you compare 6 amp hour to 6 amp hour, there is a fairly significant difference it feels like it's more in the width a little bit in length not that much but it's still there so we're getting a significant difference in size so if you're working overhead or doing something obviously you may not need the high power at that point because or the weight but it's an option it's cool literally cool or than the other stuff that we've seen out there it wouldn't have you know if we push the other batteries like that they'd be closer to the 100 degree range it's pretty sweet so we're going to continue testing on this we'll continue to give you more of this stuff how it works on different tools this is a beast to test because when you push on that thing it vibrates your whole body and uh, i don't know that that's the way we're going to go in the future <laughs> It's more fun doing the drill, trust me. If you're looking for how these batteries worked before, not including the forge, we have multiple drill batteries where we put a six inch hole, or no, it's a three and uh, five eighths inch um, hole bore on these and just go at it. And you can see how the different batteries actually worked and what battery was the best for the drill. It might have worked better for everything else. Forge is clearly just paving the path for the new generations of battery. I think that's awesome. If this thing lasts a long time, it's gonna be amazing. Well worth the money in my opinion at this point in time. We'll continue testing. Give us a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.